Environment Sustainability Meeting on October 5th, 2016. Can we have a roll call, Madam Clerk? Calling the roll, Ms. Simon? Here. Ms. Brown? Here. Mr. Jones? Mr. Jones is absent at the moment. Mr. Shrine? Mr. Shrine is absent. Mr. Brady? Here. There is a quorum. So we have minutes um, on, well, public comment. Are, is there any? Uh, no, Madam Chair, no one is signed in. So we have minutes from September 21st meeting, and we ha I was not here. So do we... Yeah. Well, we have two. So um, I guess would two be enough to approve the minutes? Uh, no, you need We'd, three. We'll wait. We'll adjust this. Do we, for, know, we don't, do we know where Purnell is he's coming? I he's in route. Okay. So if not, we'll just defer these either to the end of the meeting or the next meeting. So we'll begin with the matters referred to committee with the um, first item, or just Allison, do you want to come up and talk broadly about these? Okay. Uh, excuse me, <clears throat> Madam Chair, you want me to read it into the record? Well, not yet. Okay. Oh, it's not on. Thank you very much for your resolution, um, for your consideration of the resolutions of support of the Clean Ohio grant applications. So um, you may recall the Clean Ohio program is a state program. It started out as a state referendum um, back in 2000 to fund preservation of open space, um, sensitive ecological areas, and stream corridors. Um, in addition to acquisition, it's also for restoration, um, and applications can be restoration only. Um, the, since 2000, 101 projects were submitted, and 64 projects have been funded, um, and that's close to $36 million have been awarded to preserve um, 1,671 acres of green space and protect 40,000 lineal feet of riparian corridors. The reason we're here today is that the county council resolutions of support are a statutory requirement um, as determined by the Ohio Revised Code, section 164.23. The applications for program year 11, and that's this uh, program year, are due on October 28th, and these resolutions are required for the applications to be eligible for evaluation. So the Natural Resources Assistance Council will review these applications and evaluate them between November and February, and the awarded projects will be announced in March. So um, at this time, on your agenda, there's five projects up, um, but letter E, resolution number 2016-0174 um, is being withdrawn. Um, they cannot meet the minimum match required, so uh, they are withdrawing their request for um, a resolution of support. And finally, uh, this is uh, the 11th round of funding. In past rounds, these resolutions have been adopted under suspension of rules during the second table reading. So um, I respectfully request that the committee recommend that these resolutions this year also be adopted under the suspension of rules at the okay. second table reading. Thank you so much. Great. Okay, thank yeah, you. We're, we, we know there's some time sensitivity uh -huh. to this. Okay, yes. so we'll start with the, thank you. We'll start with the first resolution, Madam Clerk. And, and for the record, Purnell, Councilman Purnell Jones is here. We'll wait till the end. Thank you. Okay. Resolution number 2016-0170, supporting an application for funding under the Clean Ohio Green Space Conservation Program on behalf of Natural Areas Land Conservancy for Shelter Hill Ravines, located in the village of Hunting Valley. Thank you. And we have someone to speak to this. Hi, yes. Hi. Uh, my name is Keith McClintock. Uh, thank you for uh, hearing this today. Uh, we are seeking a resolution of support uh, for the Shelter Hill Ravines, which is uh, a 64-acre piece of property in the village of Hunting Valley. Uh, that will preserve open space in our riparian corridor um, in that area. And we are requesting from the Clean Ohio Conservation Fund $2,020,298 for a total project cost of $4,489,550. Okay. Any questions? So just the, the board, the, the Dale and Jack both sat on the fund point. They were clean Ohio. I think it's different. Yep. So, so we're not competing against each other necessarily with these. They're just 
getting resolutions of support in general to all of them so they have equal opportunity to get the funding. And so um, the agency that will take care of the, the land if it's purchased is who the will West, be the stewards of that? The Western Reserve Land Conservancy. It's the Western Reserve. Okay. Yeah, through, uh, through one of our LLCs, Natural Areas Land Conservancy, because you cannot hold an easement and the property, right. we have to use one of our LLCs. Right. That's why I asked. Yeah. And so the, 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 what would be the end game just to have this natural space just to, would it be open for public access or just to have, a, yes? Yeah, it would be for public access. We would look to prepare some infrastructure, some trails, and then mm -hmm. have uh, one or two parking lots for public access. Okay. Thank you. Thank Any you. questions? Do you have two of them? Or I just do. one. Okay, so why don't we have the, well, we'll vote on this, I guess. Um, d d any objection to moving this to the full council under second reading suspension? No. Okay, can I, I so move? Is there a second? Okay, second. Um, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay, so that one will go to the next council Thank meeting. You. Thank you. What's your next one? Um, we'll read it first, Madam Clerk. Resolution number 2016-0171, supporting an application for funding on behalf of Western Reserve Land Conservancy for Brecksville Upland Preserve, located in the city of Brecksville. Okay. Very good. Yeah, this is a piece of property that we're seeking a resolution of support on that's in Brecksville, close to 100 acres of wooded land uh, that is one parcel removed from the Cuyahoga Valley National Park and is just south of the Brecksville Reservation. Uh, so we are working with Cleveland Metro Parks, who will be the ultimate takeout uh, if we are successful in being able to acquire the property. And we are requesting $2,211,600 for a total uh, project cost of $5,511,600. So there's a significant uh, contribution and a um, donation of value on the property, as well as some local funds from Cleveland Metro Parks. Any questions? Okay. So I will move that um, resolution 160171 be um, referred to the next full council meeting to um, be heard under second reading suspension. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, so this will go to the next very meeting. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, next um, item, Madam Clerk. Resolution number 2016-0172, supporting an application for funding on behalf of West Creek Conservancy for ecologically significant areas along the main stem of West Creek located in the city of Parma. Thank you. Hi. Hi. Uh, my name is Derek Schaefer with West Creek Conservancy, and this application is actually inclusive of about five different parcels of land that do extend through the city of Parma and the city of Independence, so totaling approximately 40 acres. And what they are is not only protecting the main stem of West Creek and some tributaries, totaling up to approximately 5,000 lineal feet of stream yeah. uh, and about five acres of wetland, but it's also uh, completing some critical connections in the West Creek Greenway, which is a system of properties that connects throughout Parma, Seven Hills, Brooklyn Heights, Independence, and stemming about nine miles in length. So our whole, the whole Greenway will eventually extend approximately 18 miles, connecting to the National Park and Higher Erie Canalway and Towpath in two separate sections, and this conglomeration of properties is essentially the, some pretty critical linkages that we've been able to line up. Uh, the approximate project cost is about 1.2 million requests to Clean Ohio, with the total project costs kind of wavering in the 1.8 to 1.75 uh, dollar figure for the total project cost. And West Creek Conservancy will be the owner of those lands if we're successful. Any questions? Okay, Councilman Brown. It may, um, I think you might need to answer. The, we, I think last year before us we had nine applications. Just wondering what the success ratio is for applicants. Well, um, You'll have to speak in the mic. <laughs> so, um, as I said, over the course of the program, um, 64 projects have been funded and 101 have been um, applied. So that's about two-thirds um, or... Um, 67%, but this year, we these applicants alone um, are asking more than we have available, and it's uh, we have $3.39, $3.4 um, million dollars available. So they'll get scored in the top ranked projects until we run out of money will be funded. Okay. So. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Chair. 
So I have a question, Eric, about the if you link up these different um, parts and different cities, these are corridors for the the wildlife to be able to go through. And, yes. Okay. So it is uh, ecological significant areas along the West Creek main stem. So it's a direct tributary to the Cuyahoga that runs approximately nine miles. And they will be fully open for public access. And all the lands either abut or are adjacent to other lands that we already own and protect through each of the cities. So in totality, we, with these lands, we'll have about 85% of the entire Greenway lined up. So that's a couple hundred different parcels lined up through those four or five mm -hmm. cities linking to the towpath. And uh, what this also is queuing up is our next transportation improvement plan through NOACA to complete uh, approximately six miles of trail in the next five years. The trail now runs through the center of a lot of it in Parma and... It's, it's kind of like A and D okay. and F that are complete. Like we did a mile in Brooklyn Heights Park, a mile in Seven Hills, three miles in Parma within the West Creek Reservation that we handed off to Cleveland Metro Parks in 2006. And then we're building two miles uh, this next winter and spring from Route 21, where Cleveland Clinic has their business operations center, down to the towpath trail. So one of the properties in this application is enabling the connection of the next phase of West Creek Reservation to the Hemlock Creek Trail and Independence, which will be connecting down to the towpath and National Park. Okay. It's this really big puzzle. Yeah. Thanks. Any questions? Okay. So thank you. We're, um, I make a motion to refer this to the next full council meeting for to be heard under um, second reading suspension. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Lastly, we have the fourth resolution, 0173. Resolution number 2016-0173, supporting an application for funding on behalf of Land Studio Incorporated for Irish Town Bend Hillside along the Cuyahoga River located in the city of Cleveland. Thank you. Hi, I'm Tiffany Graham. I'm a project director with Land Studio, and we are a nonprofit organization. Uh, in partnership with Ohio City Incorporated and the port, we have recently been working on developing uh, TLCI plans for a new vision for Irish Town Bend, which is uh, 17 miles of uh, currently inaccessible green space on the western bank of the Cuyahoga River behind the Westside Market and Riverview Terrace north up to Detroit Avenue. And what we are seeking to do with this particular uh, grant application is to acquire up to four parcels of land, which are pretty significant and strategic building blocks within a larger, uh, a larger geography. Um, some of them owned by CMHA, some owned by private entities. And uh, we're seeking, we have a two million, up to $2 million request for a project that is um, up to 3.5 million, we're still uh, collecting appraisals for the final valuation. Uh, land Studio, in this instance, would be the steward of the land until the hillside can be stabilized, uh, which the Port of Cleveland has funding to do via Ohio State Capital Funds um, on one of the parcels that we would be looking at, uh, the bulkheading along the Cuyahoga River. Land would steward the land until it could be uh, transferred to an eligible public agency. Uh, for long-term care as a green space. So the project itself would be to acquire these parcels to stabilize that area on the river that's falling in. Into the Cuyahoga River, yes. It's a $3.5 billion uh, economic uh, disaster should the hillside collapse into the river. What we are doing through this application process is seeking to get domain of the land so that the stabilization can occur and then a green space, uh, a publicly accessible green space with a trail um, that connects to the Lake Link Trail, which this uh, Clean Ohio previously funded the acquisition of portions of the Lake Link Trail. Uh, it was built and is being maintained now by Cleveland Metro Parks. So this would fill in a critical gap in the middle between the northern and the southern portions of that trail, uh, connecting um, ultimately into the towpath and then up to Lake Erie. So this is a vital piece to have this project done. It is. It's very significant. It's important to have this land be become green space. It currently is falling into, not falling, it's just sort of sitting, um, becoming filled with uh, invasive species and posing environmental and economic threat to the region and the specific area. What we would like to do here is uh, transform that from a space that has a significant liability not only for the direct 
um, the direct land, but for the surrounding region and turn it into a space that is welcoming people in to the Cuyahoga River up into Ohio City and ultimately connecting them to our uh, regional trail network. Okay, thanks. Any questions? Thanks. Questions? Okay. Um, I'll make a motion to refer this to the next full council meeting for um, second reading suspension. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, so um, thank you. Thank so you. So this will be um, heard at our next council meeting next week, right? Yep. Thank you. So you can add my name to these, Madam Clerk, and good luck, everybody. And maybe what we'll do is have a report back specifically. I think what Councilman Brown brings up is that you know each year we um, support this with resolution, but maybe to come back and tell us who won and who who didn't and what's happening. So, so that would be great. Um, Okay, thanks very much. Um, before we get to miscellaneous business, we, um, Cornell Jones, Councilman Jones, uh, needed you to approve the minutes because I wasn't here. Ah, yes, I make a motion to approve our, our minutes from, uh, would that have been the September 21st meeting? Yes. Yes. Okay. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Miscellaneous business, um, nothing from, from the chair at this point except we're. Um, We'll be coming back with some updates from College Now, uh, how things are going with the scholarships, and, and be able to um, just assess where we are with workforce. Public comment? No, Madam Chair, no one is signed in. Anything else? Okay, we're adjourning. Thank you for coming. All right.